Hey guys, I'm Hoshra Tukma. I'm back with another video. In this video, I will talk about Sai, it is an assistant, guys, which is much better than Google now. Google Assistant. So instead of introducing Sai by myself, it will introduce itself right now. So I will show how it will introduce itself to you. Welcome to the first release of me. Say, to stop this tutorial, you can tap the notification in the status bar at any time. Otherwise, sit back, relax, and let's take a look around. First place we'll go is the command list where the inbuilt structured commands are detailed. I'm going to give you 30 seconds to memorize them all, and then we'll start the test. Go. Just kidding, there's a lot to take in here, but don't worry, you don't have to memorize everyone to use the application, as each command below can be changed to your liking in the customization section. You can float this command list anytime you need a reminder of what to say. You can do this by simply saying, float commands, and this box will appear. You can tap on each command for an explanation and example usage, and it can be a resized and moved around the screen, so it doesn't get in the way too much. Okay, let's try a command or two and I'll show you what Google Voice recognition is sending back for me to work with. To activate me from anywhere on the device, simply tap the notification in the status bar and start speaking when the device beeps or vibrates. Shortly afterwards, a listening notification will appear in the status bar. Starting to speak too soon is a common reason users get poor results. Google gives you very little time after the beep to begin speaking, so you'll need to be prompt to avoid an error. I hope they'll fix this issue soon. Right, let's get on with it. Just a final few things to remember. Please speak to me in a perfectly natural way, just as if you were chatting to a friend. Don't speak louder than normal, or attempt to over-enunciate your words. The recognition will be much more accurate this way, and also improve much quicker with your usage. Okay, here we go. Please repeat after me. Sausage, chips and beans. Google doesn't give you much time to speak after the beep, so you'll need to be fairly prompt. Let's try that again. After the beep, say sausage, chips, and beans. Google voice recognition is not behaving. I apologize on their behalf. You can have a read in the troubleshooting and bugs section for ways you may be able to resolve this. I'm afraid I'll have to end the tutorial here before you no doubt get more frustrated than I am. So since DU recording, I mean it's using mic, so this app can't access to mic. So I hope you understand. If you like this video, please subscribe. There's some more to know. So home setting, advanced development means AI development. So you can see here. So you can see here everything. So you can see it's an open source app which is much better than Google. So just install this app and you will get to know everything guys. Since this DU recorder is on using my internal mic so it doesn't allow this app to recognize my voice. I hope this will help you. So you can see here. Sai version 1.3.3a. So I saw this in a form expedia. Yeah. So you can see your customization. You can customize everything. So you will get to know once you install this app. This app will introduce itself just like uh, just like like that. So I hope this video helped you. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you still didn't subscribe so you won't uh, miss any further updates so thanks for watching